Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and welcome to Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, the program where you get to determine whether a marketing or advertising specimen that I provide to you here is good, bad, or ugly from a marketing effectiveness point of view. You know, there's all kinds of approaches to direct mail. Uh, we've shown you some extremely uh, elaborate ones. We've shown you dimensional ones. And, uh, you know, sometimes we get all wrapped up in getting fancy and forget that you can also do things very simply. Today, I want to show you a simple effort, and you'll get to determine whether you think this particular effort is good, bad, or ugly. Here is the postcard. It's the Norton Shows, and it's uh, located at the uh, Gatlinburg Convention Center. What are the Norton Shows? Well, of course, that's what this direct mail piece is uh, trying to explain to you. So you have the headline being the Norton Shows, and it's a Gatlinburg apparel and jewelry market, and it has the dates on them. There's actually four of these dates and some additional copy down here on the bottom, okay? Now on the back, it also says the Norton Shows, Happy Days Are Here Again, gives you the dates, and you'll notice it has a photograph of some people at the show there. Very interesting. But interesting, does that mean it's good enough? Does it work? Is this marketing effort good, bad, or ugly? Feel free to stop the video as you examine closely both sides of this simple postcard and then come back and uh, after you've made your determination, I will tell you whether this really is good, bad, or ugly. Good, bad, or ugly? I'm not going to pussyfoot around. This, my friend, is one of the worst marketing efforts I have ever seen in my life. It is dog butt ugly. Let me explain why so you don't make similar mistakes in your marketing efforts. First of all, all the copy is over top of a photograph on one side of this and is virtually unreadable. You can read it if you're willing to work that hard. Are you willing to work that hard to decipher the advertising that you didn't ask for that comes into your mailbox? I didn't think so. And that is the biggest reason why this one is ugly. On top of that, no headline whatsoever. No benefit statement. It tells you that it's the Norton Shows, but that's it. Uh, and then you really have to work to read the Gatlinburg Apparel and Jewelry, Jewelry Market. But once again, no benefit statement. All the type is reversed out. White type on what would normally be considered a dark background. The problem is it isn't that dark. So it's very hard to read in that uh, way as well. On the back, you have some of the information repeated in black and white, and that is easier to read, thankfully. But the type is so small to fit it on there and provide you a photograph of some happy people down here, which does nothing to advance the sale in this particular case, that it's just, again, hard to read, all in a sans serif type. Well, I guess it isn't all in a sans serif type, but it's just very difficult to read. <laughs> and that's what it deserves to get, to be dropped as it was by most of the people who received it because they could not even read it. Please don't make that mistake in your marketing. The marketing master's take is this one is ugly. What was your take? Leave your comments below. Love to hear from you on that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Biz Kaboom and tell your friends about it as we broaden our community. Now, we will have another episode in about a week. Meanwhile, take what you've learned here and apply it in your business so that you can get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.